Hey guys, it's Empress Shay Shay again, Star Seed. I want to talk about healing, okay? Spirits put on my mind about healing, okay? I've been talking about all these relationships and, you know, what Divine Masculine, the messages for, from him and Divine Feminine, but I'm going to tell you something. Life is a test, and sometimes we be unknowingly tested, you know? When the going gets tough, sometimes we want to go backwards. Some people was in a, a marriage and they left their husbands and as soon as the going get tough, they go back to the same situation. You know, I was a victim of that. You know, when coming to the Divine Masculine Defense, sometimes when they have two or three people, okay, because I've been getting like, um, messages with they have to choose and things of that nature. By me having sons, I can understand both sides of the fence. Okay? When you're out there in the world, which I've never really been out there dating and all this other stuff, but when you're in the world, it's the, the survival of the fittest. Okay? And when you tell someone or you express your feelings, you may be a touchy kind of feely person. I know I've never been a touchy kind of feely person. Again, I'm Aquarius. Okay, so when I show you feelings, you better cherish that because Aquarius <laughs> aren't emotional beings. I'm just being honest, not stepping on nobody's toes. When they show you emotions, it's real. But, again, most um, divine masculines, they may not be aware of that, okay? And when you show somebody your true feelings, they may be like, oh, she's full of crap, or she's, you know, may not be real. I respect that, no matter how bad it hurts, because it's a lot of pretenders out there. Like I used to say, oh, I know this person. No, you don't. You know, people will show you who they, they representative. Let me say that. Who they want you to see. And some people, they are great actors. They need Grammys. Hell, they need um, Oscars. You know, I'm, I'm just being real. I no longer say I know someone. Because I truly don't. Okay? So love is a very, very, very strong emotion. And it's an action word. And when you say you love someone, that's deep. So if I've been getting messages about uh, most divine masculines are runners or, you know, they don't want to commit and things of that nature, you can't blame them. Honestly, you can't blame them. Because... To me, in my opinion, this day and age, everybody run a game. And it's sad, but it's real. It's real. And a lot of us that's walking this earth is not healed. They don't know the definition of healed. Okay? Some of us grew up seeing our parents, single moms, or married and have a husband that don't live in the home. Okay? And the pa and the mother is still there to raise the, the kids. So you have to take all that in accountability. And one thing I did learn from someone I knew was patience. What are you rushing for? If it's real, it's going to be regardless. You know, my message to the whole collective, male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine, be patient. And it's hard because when you see somebody, they sexy, they cute, you know, may have good sex. You know, we all grown. You're like, oh, my God. You're overwhelmed, especially when they communicative, they talk to you. They Maybe they have qualities that you've never seen before. You're ready to get with them. But you know what I've learned? Patience.
That was my lesson. Because you never know why God, Holy Divine Spirit, is making you be patient. Because what the Spirit is telling me now, if you rush something with your Divine Masculine, it could be something beautiful, but you messed that up. Because he may have issues that he has to um, end. He may have completions in his life. And he may not want to tell you. Not that he's lying. It could be that he don't want to carry that into his next relationship. That's what Spirit's putting on my mind. We think, oh, he's lying or he, he's not telling us the whole truth. Or, no. And I wouldn't blame him. Because if you catch a man that's talking about his ex-wife in a bad manner, and I mean a bad... What I mean, not saying what you've been through with that person, but I'm saying saying bad things about them. Like, you know, calling them bees and ages, things of that nature. Now, I understand you speaking on them. I get that. But I wouldn't want to carry nothing in my past into my future relationship. So why would I tell the person, if I even care to be with them, why would I even tell them anything bad that I'm going through? To me, that's a real man. Because he's taking on his problems for himself. Let me deal with me. Before I add anything to me, let me end this or deal with this. If there ever is going to be a me and you, let me see what goes on with this first. And you can't do nothing but respect that. Spirit is putting that in my mind for me to send that out as a message. You never know why God, Holy Divine Spirit is telling you to be patient. You may get what you want in this person, but don't rush it. And he may be testing you. Okay, you say you love me. Let me see how much you love me. Are oh, you going to go backwards? When the going gets rough, are you going to go be with your ex-husband, ex-wife? Let's see what, what's really going on. Because that's real. That's real. Because whatever you do now in separation, you will do when you're with your divine masculine. If something happened to you and your divine masculine, oh, I'm going to run back to my husband. I'm going to run back to my wife. And that's a hurt you can't play with. Someone's emotion, someone's heart, space. Once I let my guard down to you, it's no reeling that back in. So I got to make sure you are the one for me. You are my counterpart. You are my end all be all. So before we out there saying, oh, he don't want me or he chose somebody different. You don't really know what he's doing because he's not telling you. That's because he had respect for you. Because if he didn't care and he didn't respect you, he would tell you everything. But he don't want to damage his future with you. If there's ever going to be any future with this person, I don't want to taint that with what I'm going through now. I'd rather take all that on. Then to, just, then to destroy something that may be good for me in the future. I may have to let it go for now. But when I'm coming back, I'm coming back full force. And I'm going to be ready. I'd rather someone that leaves me, hell yeah, it's going to hurt. But when they leave you and no question, they really are saving you. They're going to get their self together. 
If it never be, it never be. But you do, do know this. If and when they come back, they're going to be for you. And they're going to be all that you want and need. And when somebody holds their emotions back, it's not necessarily they have a mental issue or they being evil or malicious. It's probably that they're in love with someone else. And they're trying to see, okay, let me see if this is going to work. I'm going to give it one last shot before I make this decision. Because this is a new person right here. Hell, she could be lying. So let me see if it's going to work with my wife or my person I'm living with or my just, you know, or let me date. Let me go out and see if there's anybody else for me. I respect that more than you coming in a relationship with me pretending or coming in a relationship with me and not being sure and show fake emotions. What I've learned to respect, I've been, I'm going to say this. Some people will text you, I love you, oh, do, 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 quickly. Just pay attention. When someone texts you back real quickly at the beginning of the relationship and they text me all these sweet, lovey, lovey, lovey things, think on that. How can they feel all these emotions and they just met you? Or stop and ask them, how do you feel about me? Or the things that you're texting me. Let's talk about it. Because to me, in my, my opinion, in my heart's face, a person that really loves you, they're not going to be so quick to shoot that word I love. Because they know that word love is serious. They know that word... Once that word is out there, it's no, it's no taking it back. And you would have to do everything that love entails from that point on. And that is my message to you guys today for healing. Be patient and heal. Because we never know what we may be healing for. We may be healing for our divine masculine to come back and be the real divine. When I say the real, but come back and be a whole, not a partial of what we really want. But for the people out there that don't think love exists, love do exist. But it don't come around every day. And when you find somebody you truly love. And you have to let them go. For whatever reason. It's hard. But because you love them. What they say. When you love something let it go. If it's yours it's going to come back. Love transcends all. It supersedes all things. So that person can go out and sleep with 10 people. But if it's real love, how you know it's real love, they're going to come back. And I'm going to leave you with that. This has been my message of healing. You guys have a great evening. Lots of love and abundance and peace. This has been Empress Shay Shay. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the like button.